Good morning, everybody, and welcome to The Balancing Act. We're glad you joined us. I'm Julie Moran. And I'm Olga Villaverde. All right, we're turning our focus to beauty this morning. I need that. Fragrance is another beautiful way to enhance our everyday lives, from finding a signature scent to infusing our home with awesome aromas. We've got some great advice sure to please your sense of smell. I love vanilla. I love, like, fresh linen. Ooh, oh, nice. Plus, staying beautiful from the inside out, we'll be in our kitchen, and we'll find out how whey proteins can help us stay healthy and fit. Okay, after this show, we are going to look like a million bucks. We're going to look gorgeous. There you go. The balancing act starts right now. <laughs> Enrolling your little ones in early childhood learning or daycare is more than a convenience for today's moms and dads. It's also an important part of their development. And new research shows that quality early childhood learning also has long-term benefits, including improved physical health in adulthood. And joining us on the Balancing Act is Dr. Alana Yalo, CEO of KinderCare Early Learning Program. And Dr. Yalo, I'm so glad you're with us this morning. Good morning, Julie, and thank you so much for having me here. Absolutely, and you know, choosing an early childhood learning center is a big decision for parents, right? It absolutely is a big decision for parents. It really, early childhood education sets the foundation for a child's success in school and later life. Um, what a lot of parents don't realize is that 70% of brain development actually occurs by the time a child is three years of age, and it, it really develops the whole child, cognitively, physically, socially, and emotionally. So what do parents really need to know when they're evaluating the quality of a learning center? That's a great question because it's such an important decision for parents. Um, the first thing that I always encourage parents to think about is that they're really the experts when it comes to their child. They're the ones that know best if something feels right for their child and their family. So you start with how the center feels and then you kind of look at some minimal standards and there's licensing standards that look at basic health and safety of the center. But then you want to look at whether or not the center is clean and neat and organized and does it really feel like comfortable and inviting place for your child. Um, then you want to look at the teachers and the children and see if they're actively engaged with each other and if it feels like a really warm, inviting environment. And then you want to look around and make sure that it feels like the children are going to have an enriched learning experience at the center. But once you get past those minimal standards, then we like to look at something called national accreditation. Mm. And it's really a great system that's been developed already where outside experts come in and actually validate the quality of the program. So you're really counting on them to help assure you that the center is meeting the highest standards of excellence. And what's great about that is it gives you an extra set of eyes on the program to tell you that it's the best place for your child. So good to know. And what else are our children really learning at that early age? Oh, children in that earlier ages are really getting the foundation that they need for success in future life. And they're learning um, how to think and how to speak and how to interact with others. Um, there's a really important process called serve and return that we really talk about as one of the foundational elements. I want to of stop you right there. Oh. Serve and return. Explain that to me in detail. What do you what do you mean when you say that? So serve and return is uh, a process of interaction between um, young children and really responsive adults. Um, uh, just to go into a little bit of brain science, I kind of apologize for that, but um, a child's brain circuitry is actually being developed in their earliest stages, and it's developed based on the interaction between a responsive adult and a young child. Think of it as a game of ping pong or tennis, this back and forth interaction between a child and an adult. Um, let me give you an example. With the, even a young child, before they can speak, they might be cooing or babbling or pointing. And then the adult actually responds and say, they look at where the child is pointing and they talk to the child and then the child smiles or responds. This back and forth, back and forth. Or I bet you may have experienced this one with an older child. Yes. A uh, child asks you a question and you respond, you give them the answer. And what does the child say? The child says, why? Why? And, <laughs> have you heard that one? <laughs> From my two daughters all the time. All the time. And you answer, and then they say, why again? Right. That's actually serve and return. It's that at the children questioning, and really, they're trying to engage the brain through that process. So uh, 
Kinder Care is actually the nation's largest and leading provider of high quality early learning centers for young children. Uh, nationwide we have about 1,400 locations. We have the privilege of serving about 160,000 children every day. Wow, from fantastic. Infant through school age, yeah, we're, we're so proud of that. Um, and we have over 800 centers that are currently nationally accredited and the rest of our centers in the process of getting uh, accredited as we speak. We're so very, very proud of that. Well, you are just you know passionate and I love that. And I wanna know what you do at KinderCare and a little bit more about you. I have a PhD in educational psychology from Stanford University, the Graduate School of Education there. Um, and at KinderCare, I have the great privilege of working on developing all of our educational programs for our young children. And I also get to work on supporting our quality initiatives and the professional development of our teachers. And one really exciting thing that we're doing now is we're actually working with the states to see how children from kinder care do when they go into school uh, and enter kindergarten. And what we're finding is that children who attended kinder care actually outperform their peers who didn't attend our programs. So we're so excited to, to That's learn that we're- That's a great yeah. uh, statistic, yes. And, and do you have children as well? I do. I have two, two young men now, uh. Uh, two sons, and I really wish I knew what I knew then when I was raising them about early childhood development and brain development. Uh, I hear you. I feel the same way with my two daughters. But it was so great to have you on the show. This is such an important topic, and thank you for joining us today. Oh, thank you so much, Julie. It's been great to be with you. All right, and you want to learn more? Log on to thebalancingact.com. Also find us on Facebook forward slash The Balancing Act. There is nothing more personal than a fragrance. It can evoke memories, trigger endorphins, or calm our senses. From practical to provocative, there are a world of options when it comes to selecting our signature scent. And here with all the right notes, fragrance notes, is Ann Simpowski Ward, CEO for Times, a company dedicated to providing signature fragrances for women worldwide. This, this is gorgeous. Thank We're you, so Julie. Glad to have you on the set. Glad to be here. It is really great to be here. You know, I must have at least six fragrances, you know, that I love, but why, are, why do we love our fragrances? Why are we so passionate about them? Well, you know, fragrances really conjure up memories. Mm. You know, you can think back to a certain example or situation that you had and what the air smelled like, what someone else smelled like, and it really is about bringing back those really positive memories, history, and things like that. It is so true. I can smell something and see something that remind me of my grandmother like that. Absolutely. And you know, all fragrances really are not created equal. We know that. But how do we find ours and how do you produce some of these beautiful things that really truly fit us, our lifestyle, or, or even our skin? Well, you know, fragrance is so personal. So mm -hmm. what you like may not necessarily be what someone else likes. And so the real key is finding something that works with you, with your body chemistry in particular, um, but also wearing it, yeah. trying it, using it, and seeing how it adapts, you adapt to it in your lifestyle. It's all about experiencing the fragrance. You can choose a different fragrance for the, the night out on the town where you're feeling incredibly feminine. Uh, you can choose something that you just really want to have a clean, fresh, start your day energy. Uh, and so there's multitude of fragrances. That and, you know, crafting these fragrances takes a really special talent. I know that. And it comes to noses and noses that are able to discern and mix and create together. So can we do a little, like, smell test? We sure can. Okay. I would love that. I know. I see the mask here for me. You, so I'm yes. going to try to put this on and then you just walk me through this. Okay. okay. Help me get this. Help okay. Me get this yes. On Let's. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. So you just pick whatever you want and I'll tell you what Great. I think about So it. I'm going to put something in front of your nose and okay. you just tell me what you experience when you smell. The ocean, a river, clean, beautiful. Perfect. This is aqua coraline. This is our fresh, clean fragrance. Okay. It's got notes of driftwood and other elements. It transports you in your memory back to the ocean. Wow. All right, so here's our second one. Okay. Tell me what you smell here. Hmm. Honeysuckle vine. Uh, I'm from Georgia. Yes, yes. Well, this is actually called Tupelo lemongrass. Oh my gosh, Tupelo so is a honey. It is a honey. It is a type of honey, and Tupelo lemongrass features, it includes Tupelo honey, but also obviously you can smell the notes of lemon. There's also a light floral aspect to this, yeah, which is where you beautiful. got the honey, honeysuckle kind yes, of remnant. Yes, the remnant. honeysuckle, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. All right, here's Test our third me again. one. You ready? You're doing yeah. great. Okay. 
Mm. Um, oh, wow. I want to say strong, vibrant, intoxicating. You know, even a man could wear this. You right. got it. That is perfect. This is eucalyptus. Okay. And eucalyptus, eucalyptus. is very much a unisex fragrance. This right. is one of our long-standing collections. Uh, it's been in the market about 20 years, and it has it has eucalyptus. It even has things like clementine in it. So it's wow. eucalyptus with a little twist. Love that. Okay, last one. I last think, but right? not least. Let's see what you see here. So floral. Um, the, the gardenia hedge in my mother's backyard, that's what that smells like, but very floral and sweet. Well, you nailed this, Julie, because that's gold leaf gardenia. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. And so it actually has gardenia, of course, but it is, it's the quintessential floral fragrance. It's very feminine, very fresh, oh very clean, all of those aspects. And it's even got amber, just to give a little bit of richness to it. Each of the fragrances that we have here has, can have a different, unique role. Like, for example, I talked about aqua coralline, where you talked about transport you to the ocean, but this is a perfect unisex fragrance too. Yes. Men and women love the ocean, love clean, fresh, right. watery. It has water lily, cyclamen. It's, it's very... My husband would love that. Absolutely. It, this is the perfect and fragrance. And they're perfect gifts too. I was going to say, especially, for example, Gold Leaf Gardenia, that's our newest collection. My we just launched that. Absolutely go wild for this. So It I, was an I, amazing Mother's Day. Where can I find this if I want to get it for So we're in 5,000 retail outlets across the country and the world, actually. Really? Yeah, and, and really high-end boutiques and specialty stores. And can I find it online on the web as well? Times. T H Y M E S. Okay. Our viewers com. need to know that. Perfect. Fantastic. Perfect. So, one of my favorite shows of the week. Love this. Gorgeous, by the way. Thank you. All of them. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks we love for it too. By in. Thanks for having us, Alrighty. Julie. And for more information on today's segment, you can visit us at thebalancingact.com or give us your two cents worth. You can get a little bit social by logging on to Facebook forward slash The Balancing Act fans. When it comes to great nutrition, it's hard to deny the importance and popularity of protein. I mean, it's everywhere in yogurt, cereal, snacks, beverages, breads, and of course, protein powders. Now, why is protein such a hot topic today? Well, with us today to explain and share all the good news, Jan Hall, CEO for Designer Protein, a company dedicated to helping consumers achieve fitness goals and live healthier lives. Also with us today, Dr. Natalie King and Dr. Marlene Roberts, ambassadors for Designer Protein. Good morning. Good morning, Olga. Thanks so much for being here. Jan, let me start with you. Let's talk about protein. I mean, why is it so important? Well, protein is literally the building block of life. To you, say. Olga, are made up of protein and it's so important it builds your bones your nails your skin everything and taking a protein powder will improve your body composition and how much protein would you say someone needs on a daily basis Jen it depends on your age your weight your activity level and your goals do you want to lose weight do you want to firm up do you want to get rid of the muffin tops the wobbly bits I'm okay, getting I, a muffin <laughs> top all of a sudden I, I was like where did that come from I could go on oh my gosh <laughs> now I want to treat our viewers to a very special video that we have this morning of a great Olympian. Tell us who it is. It's Kerry Walsh Jennings. And she's gonna talk about why protein is so important in her life. So let's listen. I am a busy woman, like all of you guys. I have so much on my plate. And for me, it's really hard to get all of my protein from whole food sources. So for me as an athlete, I am hooked on whey, and Designer Protein's whey protein is my favorite. I know that when I use Designer Protein products, I don't have to worry. I trust the ingredients, the integrity is all there, and it's amazing post-workout to help fortify my muscles so I can get the most out of every single workout. When it comes to my family, that's when I rely on Essential 10, which is a plant-based protein. It's a fantastic, delicious alternative to whey protein. I am very mindful when it comes to whatever I'm putting into my body. It's one less thing to worry about, which allows me to focus on which matters most, which is my family. What an amazing lady. And Jan, she's going for another Olympic, isn't she? Olga, she is going for her fourth gold at Rio. <gasps> this is an amazing woman. Yeah, she's a protein user. <laughs> she is. And another amazing woman, I will say, is Dr. Roberts. I've heard her story. I'd like you to share briefly with our viewers. You were in an accident at 24. You broke your neck, and you're a triathlete today. Tell me about this. Uh, that's true. I'm very fortunate to be walking, but even more fortunate to achieve the goal of becoming a triathlete. 
um, I knew after my accident that I had to do everything I could possible to, you know, regain my strength and stability. Protein was essential to that. Protein is essential to building tissue repair. And you're feeling great today. I'm feeling Not great today. Not to mention today. she's looking really great too. She's, she looks like a diva. I'm so happy you're doing well. I'm single. I'm your single. And she's single, everybody. So I'll get the number after the show. Dr. Key, let me bring you in. With all the protein choices out there, you know, I'll go to the store. I'm you know, I like taking a protein right. shake once in a while, right. and I'm dizzy. I see this, I see this, and I just, give me a, a perspective on this. Yes, for me, one of the major tools that I use is to just really plan my trip. Knowing what I want going in really, really cuts down that time that I'm in that store. So, is it post-workout recovery I'm going for? Am I going for um, building muscle? Am I going for weight management, as Jan mentioned previously? Just kind of knowing what you want to do really helps to cut down that time and confusion. Good point there. And, and Jan, how, how do I know what protein is good for me? Well, everybody's different, Olga, and we all have our own different needs. So some people have allergens. So in our range, our designer protein range, we cater for all allergen sufferers. Uh, you might be intolerant to things like soy or lactose. Our range caters for that as well, whether it's 100% whey or 100% plant-based. Dr. Roberts, which is your favorite and why has it worked for you? I like this uh, protein powder here. This one here? Yes. Um, that's worked best for me because I'm able to use it in a, a power drink after my workouts. I can also use it as a snack um, to put on apples, you know, dipping. Um, it's an all-around great protein for me. It's and very easy. Dr. King, how about you? Yes, yeah, so I'm a huge chocolate peanut butter fan, so <laughs> <laughs> after my really rigorous workout that I like to start with in the morning, I like to go for a chocolate peanut butter smoothie, and I usually use something like the completely plant-based Essential 10, and it's really good as far as mixing the chocolate in, and it also has the antioxidant equivalent of 10 fruits and veggies, so it's perfect for recovery, and it's perfect for overall health. I have to ask you, Jan, which is your favorite? I actually like a new protein powder, and it's our Sunshine Organic protein powder and I adore the taste. Designer Protein started this category over 20 years ago. We've won awards for our taste and for how well our protein powders mix. I just cannot say uh, that there is a better protein powder or protein bars or ready to drink shakes on the market. And you've got great protein recipes too, right? We have fabulous recipes and they're all on designerprotein.com. Designerprotein.com. Yes, and Olga, you can absolutely bake with these protein powders. You can bake powders. with these? You can bake with them. You can do muffins and pancakes and banana bread. The options are endless. And I can actually do it for my kids. They love pancakes and they, they don't even it. know they're getting protein they powder. They don't. And That's cookies. a good point. That's a great point. <laughs> absolutely best. Well, I just want you to know, I think you ladies are fabulous. I made this for you this morning and you know oh. that's not true. Thank you. But it's <laughs> Okay, yes. I can let our viewers think <laughs> that I did. I want to toast to you ladies. Thank, Thank you. you for Cheers. coming. You all Thank are you fabulous. So. Thank you. And if you'd like you. to learn more about supplementing your diet for good health, you're always invited to thebalancingact.com or get social. Hey, we're setting her up too. We're getting social. Log on to Facebook forward slash The Balancing Act fans. This was Thank too you. much fun. One more time. Thank you. A toast to you guys. Such great information on today's Eye on Beauty show. I learned so much and I love the idea of a signature scent. Are you kidding? I love the idea of looking younger. <laughs> Remember, we have lots more on our website, thebalancingact.com. I like it too. <laughs> We're also on Twitter and Facebook. Post something, tweet us, let's get social. Let's get younger until the next time. Remember, find your balance. So long, everybody. <laughs>